for one final chance. And of course, you guys are wondering, top eight will be streamed on the BTS Smash. Uh, for tomorrow, at uh, what time does everything start? Like, uh, start? I, I believe at 11 again. 11 again? Okay. Yeah, I came early today thinking my pool was at uh, 11 today, and they were like, nope, that is tomorrow. And I was like, wow, that's fantastic. But at least I was early, I guess. Yeah. But alright, yeah. Starting off on Pokemon Stadium 2, definitely fan favorite stage. Everyone loves to start off here. And yeah, we get to see S2H's uh, Meta Knight, which S2H is honestly, everyone's pretty much f really familiar with S2H. He comes out to a lot of weeklies, mm -hmm. a lot of events, and he's also on the SoCal PR as yeah. well. He's actually also on the top 100 uh, paid Smash players for Smash Smash the Ultimate. Really? Yeah, he actually just recently made the top 100. I don't remember what spot exactly. I think it's like, like 90 to 100. Roughly in that spot, but he's actually in the top 100. He goes to a lot of locals. He's the last of a dying breed in Meta Knight mains. Not only that, he's kind of one of the last few Meta Knight mains. Oh, and that boy! Hey. Wow! That... This is even Smash 4 yeah. <laughs> Meta Knight! What is happening? And he's able to just carry Inkling with that. It's all about the upper strings. That's something S2H was so used to back in Smash 4. That he knows the exact moment when to go for things like forward yeah. air, back air. Or just go to go. Yeah, see, see what I'm saying? He knows. The upper, upper juggle, and then fair. That was clo that closed out that stock. That was like the finishing touch. So he definitely has to like mix up his moves in between and follow the DI. Yeah. And this is something for S Switch to warm up on because he has to fight x -Sax probably if x -Sax is not going to upset it by Duke in Winner's Finals. So we'll see how he's able to handle this matchup and what he can take to learn against x -Sax. Yeah, and uh, s Switch just being relentless here. Still holding on uh, well, with two stocks now. Um, still has that lead. But yeah, definitely pretty solidly but uh, this this game just happened so fast i just looked over and uh ask mm -hmm. is already yeah one per one stock here yeah happened really quickly and this is what i'm talking about these players like i know sha yeah, he's coming out from all over to these events getting that practice in every three to four times a week yeah. and that's 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 commitment no not only is that commitment but he's able he's gone to places like dreamhack dallas uh, which he got ninth out, I believe? Ninth or 13th over at DreamHack. And then he was over in Texas for a while. He was actually able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a lot of Texas players. Mm -hmm. Typically getting top three over at Texas. He's gone to places like Arizona for Ascension, where he's able to get top eight. Mm -hmm. He's he's not the world warrior, but he's definitely known as the road warrior. He's never afraid yeah. of Take a carpool, go somewhere new. Drive all the super far. Oh, yeah. Through, yeah. Going out to all the far events. Um, but, yeah, ass shaking his head a little bit in the beginning. But, yeah, definitely, like, don't ever doubt yourself, too. This is definitely what Smash is all about, too. Adapting mm -hmm. to each other's play styles and um, making comebacks. Smash is all about that, and that's why I love watching it. It doesn't, you know, there's this character roster is massive, too. And um, ass is playing a great high tier. Yeah. Inkling's a great player, and uh, yes, he can definitely um, take in, this game. And in my opinion, I think it. as of the latest patch, I, I kind of feel like Inkling's probably top tier now that we saw Olimar definitely take a huge dip down. Oh, yeah. And Pichu and, and and Peach also as well. Peach's nerves weren't like that bad, no, though. No, they weren't. were basically what she needed, and same for Pichu, too. It makes a, m a lot more sense with the nerfs, that, how they adjusted the nerfs. I think they're great. I think this patch was actually um, Pretty a good really patch. good start yeah. in the right direction, but now mm -hmm. I feel like Nintendo really needs to focus on uh, more of like the lower tiers. Why are they low tiers? Start uh, buffing some of the characters. You guys are they're kind of focusing more on like the top tiers, and it's just like buff hey, like Marth. don't forget about us. <laughs> buff, <laughs> buff Marth, please mm, buff Marth. Yeah, yeah, oh, this, this, this more this than just Marth though. Well. Marth Sorry. wasn't the first that came to mind to be <laughs> honest. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I mean, but for s this Inkling is the first thing coming onto his mind, like I said. This is this could be a warm-up for him against x -Ax. Gets a down throw, I like it. Go, tries to go for the up air because he knows the angle that the down throw is going to work at those percents. And oh, oh, smash caught this wow. man slipping on the wrong direction. Taking that stock too, 70%. That's really early. That, that has super strong uh, kill power and um, like, move, like how it moved him. Yeah. What's the word? I can't even think of the word. Oh, he almost got the mock tornado. Knockback, excuse me. Yeah, there's this roller. If he cancels that. Oh, going for the up smash. It was so close. S2H just mashing out of that a little bit too fast there. 
Um, but another thing, too, is that we're not really seeing Ask uh, throw out his splat bomb as much, applying pressure, trying to create a wall here. Usually we see that um, through Inklings. Like, he has great movement, but he needs to apply a little more pressure other than just dashing in and out. Uh, where we're seeing a lot of um, that play. And not only that, you're right. You know, we're not seeing a lot of backers either, but it's also really hard for Ask to go for those options because look at the way the S switch is playing on Town and City. He's not going on the ground. That's not allowing Ass to go for things like Splat Bomb or Back Air. It's S2H kind of one, the one taking control of the stage just by staying out of it. Because he knows Ass has to approach me this high to go for Back Air. This high to hit me with Splat Bomb. Yeah. If I keep in this zone, he has nowhere to hit me. And I'm the one with the lead. I'm, all, I'm able to get away from things like Roller. And I'm able to finish him off like this almost with the up B. Yeah. It's definitely really critical. Oh, he <laughs> loves it when you tech roll yeah. after the downside. That's one of his pristine conditioning options that he's so used to.